All right, let's see if I can get this thing primed up. Oh, we got fuel. If you can hear that high pitch whine, that's the air coming out of the pump through the bleeder or the pressure regulator. Fuel back out of the fuel return, so I should have the fuel system bled. So I got a strap on here, so I can't flip this thing over in the floor accidentally. Everything's clear from the flywheel and whatnot, so. So we're ready to crank this thing a bit and get some fuel out of these injection lines. You know, I have to go back and close them up and I'll be able to see if this thing will start. So Still don't have any out of one or four. Well, it's probably going to be close. See what happens.
and do another engine start for testing sake. See how quick it lights off. Just can't help it. Let's give it one more try. We'll see how quick the oil pressure comes up. I'd say that's like a champ. Um. So far, I don't really see any oil leaks. Here we go. I like it. Well, I think Bailey would approve. It sounds good to me. Uh, we've got good oil pressure. There's not leaking anywhere. At least not yet. So that's a good sign. I'm not gonna run this a whole lot because uh, it's got no cooling in it. But you know. As big an engine as this, as much cast as it has, it'll take it a while to heat up. Uh, none of this is even probably 70 degrees right now. Exhaust manifold is a little warmer. Mm. Yeah, exhaust manifold is about the only thing I wouldn't want to hold my hand on. The rest of it's all nice and cool. I know that's a big moment. Uh, I've been waiting on, and probably you have too, as the weeks have progressed and getting this thing put together. But it looks like it's going to work good. So I'll need to get the forklift in here and start tearing it apart so I can put this engine in. Of course, I get this parts motor out of here, clean up some space and do a bunch of other cleaning around here to uh, get all these excess parts put up in storage. And then I'll be ready to bring the heister in and start working on getting this thing put in. But the pump and injectors from area diesel seem to be running good. Uh, can't complain about that any. I have to say it is a little hazy at the moment still, particularly when it revs up, but of course I don't have any air blowing into this thing from the turbocharger, so no doubt that's restricting it some, and I may have to tweak the timing still yet, but it's crisp and it starts good, so uh, I don't think I'm too far off. Other than that, I guess that's going to be it for this video. Uh, next will be 
probably starting on the forklift. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch y'all later. There's the inspector come to give the wag of approval. Engine runs. Bailey's happy. He'd rather just go to sleep, but say hi to your fans.